Lava Flows in Yellowstone Yellowstone Monthly Update, September 2025 Imagine a Yellowstone eruption. What comes to mind? A massive explosion, right? Like the eruption that formed the caldera about 631,000 years ago. However, the most common form of eruption at Yellowstone isn't a massive explosion, but rather a lava flow. Yellowstone's last lava flow occurred about 70,000 years ago. The type of lava that erupted was different from what you might see in Hawaii, with torrents of molten rock and fast-flowing basalt channels. At Yellowstone, we're talking about thick, viscous rhyolite lava flows that slowly move across the landscape like giant rock walls. These rhyolite lava flows erupted after the Yellowstone caldera formed. From mapping and studying lava flows, we've found that rhyolite lava flows don't spread evenly over time. Eruptions seem to occur in clusters. There are a few lava flows, then tens of thousands of years without an eruption, then a few lava flows, then tens of thousands of years without an eruption. Now, we are currently in one of the few periods of no eruption in tens of thousands of years. The most likely future eruption from Yellowstone is a lava flow. However, we are not worried about that in the near future. Based on seismic imaging, we have found that Yellowstone's magma chamber is mostly solid. However, if it heats up, lava flows are likely, as shown in this video. During August 2025, the University of Utah Seismograph Station, which monitors and operates the Yellowstone Seismic Network, detected 94 earthquakes. The deformation, subsidence trend continues. Steamboat geyser showed minor activity, but no major water eruptions. Yellowstone volcano remains at normal activity levels. New clues beneath one of Earth's most powerful supervolcanoes reveal how it could erupt, causing global devastation. Almost every month, there is news about the Yellowstone supervolcano making headlines somewhere, and this one is no exception. Perhaps it was a swarm of earthquakes or a small steam-fueled explosion that set the hearts of news editors and disaster responders racing. Or, at times like these, a new study reveals the prospect of the next big eruption. Sometimes it seems as if the whole world is waiting for Yellowstone to erupt, in a way, almost wanting it. In January 2025, researchers from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, published a new analysis in the journal Nature that revealed exactly what's happening beneath Yellowstone.
By measuring and mapping the electrical conductivity of the rocks, they were able to paint a three-dimensional picture of how much magma is present and where it's located. This is because molten rock can have conductivity up to a thousand times greater than solid rock, making it fairly easy to spot. The bad news is that there's a lot of magma down there. The good news is that it's not all in one place, nor does it fill a large underground void. Most of the magma, in fact, is contained in pockets, each of which makes up 2 to 30 percent, by volume, of the hot, dense rock in which they are contained. Furthermore, the areas of rock that contain the magma aren't all held together, so even if the volcano were to erupt, it's unlikely to all come out at once. However, the most interesting revelation this study tells us is where the next hotbed of volcanic activity will be. It turns out that the magma is not evenly distributed. Most of it is concentrated beneath the Yellowstone caldera in the northeast, a giant crater left by the last super eruption 630,000 years ago. About 400 to 500 cubic kilometers, 95 to 120 cubic miles, of sticky, silica-rich rhyolite magma resides here. This is far more than the volume of magma erupted in Yellowstone's massive Mesa Falls eruption some 1.3 million years ago. Furthermore, hot basaltic magma rising from the underlying mantle pumps even more heat into this part of the volcano, keeping the rhyolite magma hot and, over time, increasing the total volume of molten rock. 